Yeah, not a single bit. What's your game? Huh? Oh, are you trying to lead us back now? Wait, wait, now there's like two of them. Yeah, see, there's like the, the, the main one and then like a smaller one. So why are you leading us backwards? Did we leave something unresolved with uh, Lizzie? Yeah, I wonder if there is something that we, we left with Lizzie because we didn't get like her like closing moment like we did with, you know, Frank and Wendy and Jeremy. Yeah, with something, you know, this this originally felt like so delicate and, and beautiful, where it was like kind of dancing and playful. It has a very, very different vibe right now. This thing feels not quite malevolent, but at the very least, ominous. I wonder if there is something we left at the campground. Where are you leading us? Come on. I mean, there's definitely more up there that we need to explore, but I don't want to leave something unresolved with uh, Lizzie's story. Okay, so you're guiding us over here. What are you trying to get us to see? I thought we were extremely thorough, but perhaps not. Huh. It almost sounded like human voices there for a second. Oh, you know it is, Sammy. You know it is. Yeah, we already went here. So yeah, maybe it's leading us to the one thing that we missed. Okay. Yeah, we, we saw this. We saw the stuff in the main hall. Oh geez, where the hell are you going? Well, I do not want this thing to touch me. Yeah, we went in here. We, we saw their interaction in, uh, I guess, like the, the change room. Hope this leads us to something we haven't seen. Oh, there is something over there. Yeah, 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 look. I mean, the distance. So it appears that the, this pattern or whatever can manifest itself in multiple ways at multiple times. How is this thing going? Yeah, so this is kind of where it looked like the, the signal was over here. And... No? Yeah, it looks like it was over here. Yeah, near these, like, easels. Yeah, ah, ha. This we missed. Who do we have here? You shouldn't be smoking, you know. Not in your condition. Ah. It's David's fault. He got me started again. I'm not going to try and stop you, but the weather's looking pretty rough. There's a storm coming. That's what Stephen so That's the, the priest. He said he'll meet me, but there's things he has to do first. He seems to think that all of this is connected to him. Oh, it is extremely connected. I, I'm going anyway, whether he comes or not. I'm assuming Stephen has thought of a way through the quarantine. Oh, he's clever. Well, I mean, through the quarantine, I guess, is one way to put it, but maybe not exactly I love him. what his plan is. Good enough. I hope so, too. Okay. Listen, if you can't get through, for whatever reason, I'm uh, getting people together at the village hall, rounding up stragglers, that sort of thing. Yeah, I've got all the campers together here, doing a show. Peter Pan. Uh, a, a, a goodbye, I guess. They didn't realize that, that that's what they were getting together for. Okay. So we there is there was a scene we missed here. Okay, so now it's going to lead us to where? Oh god. Again, I feel much more uncomfortable about this thing now. Alright, so where are you going? Okay, 
so we saw all that. Where do you want to go to now, though? It's weird, the signal, like, it wants us to see these things. And I guess, in a way, it, it is manifesting them. As they are made, like, in its pattern. Yeah, we saw this. Yeah, the scene with Stephen and her. The other thing I, I would love to have uh, this this artist do is... Oh, did we not go in here? I swear we did. Yeah, we definitely went in here. Yep, we definitely went in there. I guess, did we not see a scene, though? Oh. Oh, we. I'm assuming this is her final scene now. Ah, so it wasn't available to us. That makes sense. Okay. Well, let's see what happened to Lizzie, I guess. Yeah, this is her final scene. What was what was her fate like? Sleeping baby. Oh no, it's Rachel. Darling child. Clouds and starlight. He was the one left. Starlight, starlight. When you wake, you will be mine. Starlight. Sleep and love. Oh wow. Sleeping baby. Shadow dust. Her, her and the baby were the only ones left here. Clouds and starlight. Numbered starlight. When we're called to go, we must. Into starlight. Sleep. And love. Ooh. Oh no, there was someone else here. She's asleep. Oh, Charlie. You are right, kid. There, there, there was at least two left with the baby. All right. You should get some sleep, Charlie. You look exhausted. I mean, considering how dire this is, <laughs> the fact that you've you you've basically calmly accepted this this. Bizarre and terrible fate. At least together. So the pattern does this to them. Yeah. Oh, geez. Yeah, these were all the people that were here. No, no, they weren't alone. That's the, the planes passing overhead. Oh, and the nerve gas. So anyone who wasn't taken, I guess, by by the pattern. Ow. Nothing left. Nothing left. Well, I mean, we don't really know exactly what the pattern is other than based on I guess the messages from Kate and Steven. Because they were kind of the only ones who really knew what happened. Oh yeah, no. The end of their 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 story here. At the camp. Based on what they've told us, it seems like whatever the pattern was, it isn't of earthly origin. Somehow it reached Earth through some astrological phenomenon or uh, astronomical phenomena that brought it here through the array at the uh, telescope system that they have. Whatever this entity was, you know, this pattern was, I guess, interfacing with Kate in some way and, and that she was trying to, I guess, understand it. You know, it, 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 it danced and bathed, you know, in, in the guess the observatory when, when she was working there 
and in fact, when it first arrived, it burned both Kate and Steven. And, and what we know so far is that whatever way it's interfacing or interacting with humans, it can't do it with simpler life forms. Whatever it's doing to to us, it, it can't do to like insect and plant. They're, they're like cell systems are too simple. And I guess in the middle ground with animals, it just, it seems to kill them. I mean, it seems to be killing people too, but I guess we won't really know if that's intentional or not. Ah, so now we're heading off to Steven's chapter. Yeah, th these are really good moments to kind of reflect on the complexity of the characters we've been learning about. This game is just so thoughtful in the way it presents itself. Alright, let's make our way down into, I guess... The northern part of the map. We haven't really stepped too far into here. We just kind of took a peek in and then the signal guided us back to Lizzie's area by the camp. Saw that. All right, I guess further guide us. This doesn't feel like a great idea, but... At this point, I guess I don't really have much choice. I wonder if Steven... Besides the fact that, you know, they they want to contain the valley and, and cut it off from communication, because it seems like it can actually pass through electronic equipment. You know, partly why it's, you know, destroying or, or making computers, making cars inoperable. Yeah, we already went in here. It also seems like it can physically move between, like, nodes of telecommunication. So that's why they, you know, basically cut off the 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 lines of telephones and I I guess maybe the internet. I don't know exactly what time period this takes place in, but it seems like it also can transmit through people. Oh, what do we have here? Okay. Do you think she'll like it? In an awful state, Stephen. I okay, so this must be Stephen's mean place. Down roots here, maybe a family. Are you sure she wants children? And what, Wendy, you really don't like place, Kate. You know? Don't stop it again, please. I mean, she's ambitious, love, and she's well older. She's not going to want to stay cooped up at home looking after the kids. And I Wendy, you are <laughs> very prejudiced. You know it. I'm just saying you should make a choice. If it's a family you want, well, you know how much Lizzie wants a family. Jesus, Mum, I didn't come here for marriage guidance. I just asked yeah, you to telling telling your son to commit adultery is not a, a great idea. Sorry, it's just that you have to understand. Kate is the most brilliant, extraordinary, wonderful person I've ever known. She's she's like no one else. The way she looks at things, it's like she has whole worlds inside her head. I don't think you or anyone really. Maybe that's why that. uh, the pattern. I guess, uh, was drawn to her. It may be, uh, Kate was the, the actual conduit for its arrival. Yeah, this must be, they were, they were moving into the town, right? I wonder if there's anything upstairs as well. No, it just seems like a house in the process of being finished. Oh, there's still one more room. Don't want to leave anything, but I don't think this is. I wonder if this is, like, maybe the house that they're having renovated, because it seems like they were staying at Wendy's or something. It seems like they, they also had another place in town. Yeah, this place was under construction. To let. So, yeah, I'm assuming this is maybe where they were going to move to. I don't know. All right. Let's poke our head around. 
Still so much left to explore. I am also very keen on finding more radios if we can. Especially since they help us really understand Kate's side of the story. And she seems instrumental to the arrival and spread of whatever this pattern is. Yeah, all the skyboxes in this game are so gorgeous. I, I would love to see a, another game of, of this scope and and detail, but focused maybe on more like a, a, a mystery that you have to solve, not just you know, in, interpret. Physical changes are evident. Although the butterfly burn is now faded, I can clearly see the change in my pores up close. Oh, so yes, this is the burn that words, she and Stephen suffered. Hearing them as if for the first time, as if I'm both speaker and listener simultaneously. Oh. I am a scientist. As if time is taking place in two different periods at the same time. And this points in one simple direction. It's not in the observatory. Yeah. Well, it seems like whatever this pattern is, that's how it is at least partially spreading in people. And that people are how it amplifies its, its I guess, energy. But I guess the thing is, we, we don't really know if, it, if it's harming people intentionally or it just doesn't know that it's doing it. Oh, we hear our phone over here. Nope. Oh, uh, I think I hear a phone over here somewhere. Oh, oh, telephone booth. Perfect. Kate. Kate, can you hear me? Come on, pick up. Kate. Kate, can you hear me? Um. Or wait, are we Kate? Listen. I'm trying to make things right. Yeah, well, I think we're either Kate or I'm Steven. The nerve gas. Okay, so that is what he he asked them to to strike the town with. I mean, that, that's a, a grim scenario to face down with, I guess, as much courage as they can. So I wonder, yeah, I wonder if we are Kate or Steven. Yeah, the, these cars just left abandoned. That seems like whatever the, the, the pattern is, it is almost using the people as like transmitters of it. And I guess that's maybe why he, he thought that the nerve gas would, I guess, contain it because then there would no be no people to spread it outside of the valley and then they cut all lines of communication from the valley. Oh, we can actually pop our head in? Ah, oh, it's another pub. Hell yes, we can actually go behind the bar here. You look well. I don't, but thank you. Oh, you do. This is uh, the drink How that uh, Wendy encouraged Nothing Lizzie to get with him. Here. I mean, it's great to be back. It still feels like home, I suppose, in a funny kind of way. It's been a long time, Stephen. Last time you saw me, I could still walk properly. You look pretty good to me. Stop it. For what it's worth. I'm sorry about how things right, worked out. Right, because he moved away to go to school. Or didn't. Or didn't, right. Do you think you made a mistake leaving? My mum tells me it's never too late to change things. Hmm. To put things right. Funny. It's just what she said to me the other day. Yeah, she's what trying to make this happen. What she meant God, by that. That's <laughs> embarrassing. Sorry. Oh, maybe I should go. 
Why? Stephen. We're yeah. both married. Trust your instincts, Lizzie. That's a bad idea. idea. What is it? We're just two old friends having a drink, that's all. Oh, come on. There's a difference between old friends and your mom trying to set you up. At the back? No. Well, at least we get to pretend to be the barkeep. Hell yeah. Oh, what, what'll you be having? Bottle of wine? Let me get you a pint as well. Ooh, currying a pint for two pound. Hey, that's a pretty good deal. I mean, that is one of the benefits of, of living in a, a smaller community. Generally, the cost of living, quite a bit lower. All right, so there's a big house down the alley there and a pathway up this way. So let's head over here and see what this house is all about. Yeah, see, the insects are unaffected. And obviously, so, is, is, so isn't the plant life. Oh, phone. I'm coming from inside the house? Sounds like it. Oh, in the back here? Uh, it might be above. Nope, nope, there it is. No phones, you know the protocol. That doesn't matter now. It's figured out how to circumvent the telecommunications Oh, button. shit. What? I didn't think it could. Kate understood. She saw how adaptable it was. How smart. Jesus Christ, you're talking about it like it's a lie. It you is. Have to assume that everyone here is infected. We can't know We're that. We're infected. It's killed all the birds, and now it's in us. Oh, it's shit. It's to leave the valley any way it can. The quarantine... It probably feels enough. trapped here. You've got to remove the carriers. You've got to cut off his energy source. It's food. I've already told oh, you, Stephen, I'm not going to... us. Now it knows we're onto it. It's going to keep on spreading as fast as it can. The quarantine and blackout will hold it in check. They've cut all of the phones out of the valley, so it's only you communicating Aren't out you now. you're listening? It's figured out ways around it. Radio waves, something. Whatever this thing all it is, lines, very adaptable. The phones are working anyway. You've done all the right things, but it's not enough. You've got to stop it before it adapts again. Yeah. Stephen. Quickly. My, my family... My, my wife and kids. You know perfectly well what you've got to do. It's either that or the whole world goes to shit. Don't do it. Don't ask me to do it. You're asking me to sign their death warrant, my own family. Damn it, don't you think I'm aware of that? I mean, Stephen's also I'm asking you to kill him. The fucking stuff. Oh, so Let this is the full conversation. You spineless little shit. If you're so full of ideas, you come here and try dealing with it. Yeah, yeah. This is the thing we had snippets of before. Now you only have the tough decision to, to make. Oof. God, that is a grim prospect to put in front of someone. Murder the rest of this village, and that includes your your family. But if you don't, potentially everyone is dead. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever this whatever this pattern is. It feels like it almost doesn't even know what it's doing. You know, it's like, imagine if you were magically teleported to an alien planet. And, you know, you were trying to survive. You were just eating plants that, you know, you eventually found. But you didn't realize that you were actually, like, committing a, a genocide against the only living organisms on that planet. But you had no way of knowing. Yeah, this must be the, the Clive's house. Or that's what I would guess. You know, yeah, imagine you were you were transported to a, a planet, or even like, you know, just imagine you were transported where you were so physically different from whatever the, the, the native species were on that planet. You didn't even realize that you were basically trampling over everything. Like, does, does the pattern even know what it's doing, or is it just trying to survive? So there was also a path back here. Where does this go? Oh, what is this? Oh. 
where is where does this lead to? Oh geez, there's so much. I mean, they definitely fleshed out this whole place. Like everything feels so like oh logically laid out. Where was that phone? Oh, there you are. It's all over the valley. Don't you get oh no, I I put that together, Stephen. Okay. Yeah. We've heard bits of this before. It's out in the world. It's, it's everywhere. Spreading. Do you understand? No, we can't turn it away. It's come too far. Okay, people are disappearing. <laughs> Shut it down now. No. There's no way to contain it. If you won't help me, I'll do it on my own. Oh my god. Back through Tower Six. Wait, wait, wait. Oh god. It's trying to break through again. He helped manifest it here. You know, a, a small sliver of it got through. But in in maybe some of the most short sighted and like I guess bullheaded thinking, she completed the process. Oh god. Oh. Oh, is this yeah, this is this connects to that area. Okay. That makes sense. So these areas do connect in in routes that the pattern doesn't guide us through. So I guess we can kind of walk around freely if we if we so chose, but the pattern seems to at least be pointing us into the the areas that make the most sense to visit. Oh, speaking of which, our uh, our acquaintance seems to be pointing out something else. Mistake. What do you want me to say? You knew what you were getting into. Really? Oh yeah, well, this is I'm bad. Sorry we don't measure up to your exacting standards, I mean, you guys Dr. weren't also very welcoming to her. Maybe you just need to give us ordinary humans a break. What? Ordinary humans like Lizzie Ooh, Graves? Ooh, shit. Now she's dropping the glove. Did you really think that I wouldn't find out? Frank told me. Or did you forget there's one person in this shithole who actually talks to me? Kate, it was just a dream. Don't bother, Steven. Oh, for Christ's sake. Kate, slow down. You were engaged to her, Stephen. Ooh. You nearly married oh, her. On, Damn, okay, we didn't know then that. Why the hell did you lie to me about because it? Because I knew you'd be mad and then it would end up in a row. You wanted to focus on the event tonight. Oh, so you were actually oh. doing me a favor. So this is before well, the the event that brought you. the pattern Do here. Not treat me like I'm an idiot. You're overreacting. I know, I know you're stressed. Just... Don't. Oh shit. So yeah, all all this blew up right before that. I'm not gonna let you ruin this for me. Kate. Kate, come on, this is crazy. I mean it's interesting when you think about it because you could perhaps argue that Wendy maybe instigated this happening. In in a way, because she encouraged Lizzie, and in, 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 in a different way, also encourage Stephen to have the affair. The The affair obviously pushed a wedge between uh, the two of them, like Kate and Stephen. Because of that, she was not going to listen to him about the pattern. Pressure in my eyes again. I can't move my legs, can't feel my face. When I collapsed, the light was waiting. It. Pressure in my eyes again. I hear that again. I can't move my legs, can't feel my face. When I collapsed, the light was waiting for me there. Caught me, lowered me. Okay. Here. Now it's pooling around my feet, watching me. It doesn't seem malevolent. The printers are spewing out page after page of zeros. It's frightened too. Yeah, well, it, it seems like it, it's trapped It'll here. Be okay. It'll be fine. I'll look after you. It's alone. It's scared. I mean, this is where she connects with it, right? She she feels oh, the same. So far. It's okay. I can help you. We can be together now. 
you know, she she feels a a, a, a kindred spirit within it. We can be together. Oh shit. Three seconds. Two. Wait, did she bond with the? Oh shit. Did she like voluntarily bond with this with the pattern? So you, oh man. Oof. Okay. Well, let's let's see what this is first. Oh, is this uh service tunnel? Oh, maybe not. Yeah, the pattern is definitely something alien. It didn't come from here, which is why, you know, it, it doesn't really have like malevolence. It, I don't even know if it knows what it's doing. We are so like I guess probably the best way to say it is we are physically inoperable. Right? You know, imagine we you know, imagine through, through the power of magic, you were transported to an alien planet. But on this alien planet, nothing was physically like us. It wasn't composed of the, the same kinds of molecules or, or chemicals or proteins or whatever. And, you know, through sheer luck or, I guess, bad luck, until you look at it, our presence was like a physically destructive force to them. But we can't communicate with them. We don't even know what they are. So you would just be destroying them without even knowing. They might, you know, you might even recognize them as sentient. Man, what do you dent your face? It's nothing. You collecting feed? So this like is after the event. Coming in. Huh. Again? The phones are all strange. I can't pinpoint the logic of transmission. You what? What are you doing with that paint? Means the EMC are actually moving at the proper speed. Listen, Fred. Hmm. Have you uh, heard anything on the radio about a flu outbreak? Doesn't seem much like flu to me. They're shutting down. Oh, it sure doesn't. Isolated. Something about the phones. I can't put my finger on it quite yet. What are you talking about? Hey, I'm still talking to you. Where are you going? All right, what else we got? Oh, your phone in here. So yeah, so the 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 affair pushed Kate and Stephen, or or pulled them apart, obviously. But on top of that. Oh yeah. Oh, another one of these. Yeah, they must have Yeah, they must have dropped nerve gas on the whole place trying to kill any humans left to stop the transmission of the pattern. All right, let's hop in. Oh, this is such a cute cafe. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is cute. Okay, let's pop in. Hello. Hello, is there anyone there? Can anyone hear me? Clive. Clive, it's Stephen Appleton. Are you there? Can you hear me? Over. Clive being on the on the outside of the valley. Damn it. Kate, Kate, it's Stephen. Come in Tau Six. Kate, are you there? Kate. Anyone, I don't know hello? when this took place. Can anyone hear me? This is Dr. Stephen Appleton broadcasting from within the quarantine zone. Can anybody hear me? Oh, oh God. Oh, God. oh the signal. Yeah, the signal infested the radio waves. No, absolutely not. I mean, I, I think the, 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 the folly that a lot of people fall into with, you know, going to school for a degree or whatever is that there's no, like, law that says that you have to exactly use it. You know, think of your degree as just like a base of knowledge that you can apply to, you know, all kinds of different jobs. I think, uh, you know, a charming bookstore is a lovely use of anyone's talents. You know, sharing, preserving knowledge, stories, aging with people. Oh, we got a phone. Oh, no. Radio. Radio. This is Catherine Collins. Recording for posterity. Oh, posterity, huh? For, uh, who to enjoy. Whatever he did, whatever the planes were carrying, it's burning my lungs. Probably yep. some kind of nerve agent. Yeah, it's the, the nerve gas. I suspect it's only exposure to the pattern that has kept me alive this long. I'm making my way to Tower 6. I'm going to fuse the signals from the optical array. I just... I just hope I can make it. Oh. But is she doing that to save the signal, or... 
I guess, stop its spread. Yeah, no, I, I think, you know, it, it's it's a folly to think that any degree is is useless. Because really it's, you know, the pursuit of knowledge, both of like, you know, an academic sense, bettering your yourself, expanding your your um, ability to understand different kinds of people. Yeah, as long as you had interest in it and, and you can share that interest with others, yeah. There's no there's no such thing as a wasted degree. You know, I, I in an ideal world, maybe you would apply your degree to a job, but maybe not also. Like, maybe your degree just allows you to be better at a different kind of job. You're a daft old oh, bird hello, hello. way out here for it. You know Charlie would have dropped it off. What? And have that stinking oh, hey, Wendy. story of his poisoning my birds. She does love her birds. Driving it on these lanes, it's a hazard. I think he was hoping he could have a word with you about Frank. There's nothing to say. Oh, listen, Wendy, they might all be scared of you, but that's not going to work with me. You're 68 years old. Grow up. Talk to Frank. <laughs> How dare you speak to me like that? Give me my bird feeder right now. Promise me you'll drop by and see your brother. Megan Holloway, give me Exactly, Promise Sammy. You. I think that's the, a great mindset to have. You, know you are a shamelessly manipulative and difficult Ooh, woman. Damn. It's no wonder Charlie adores you so much. Ooh. No wonder I do what? <laughs> no wonder you never finish what you start. I thought I told you to check the incoming stock orders. Wendy, one bird feeder for you. I'll tell Frank you'll stop by. Oh! Charlie, stop mooning around and stick the kettle on. Make yourself useful. So yeah, it seems like Wendy and Frank obviously had a uh, big old falling out. I'm, I'm assuming over the 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 slow and and difficult death of of Mary. Or, or maybe it has something to do with uh, Steven as well. At the very least, that definitely drove a wedge between them. Yeah, you, you know, maybe in some future scenario, you open up a bookstore and because of your experience in, in you know, psychology, you um, can maybe help people, like, you know, find the perfect book. You, you can maybe help see in them the, the kinds of, you know, stories that will help them grow as people. Here. What are you doing here? You thieving bastard. I knew it was you. Listen, take everything you need. But then you have to leave. You don't understand. You can't be near me. Oh, because he's infested with pictures. the pattern. Stealing food. You always were a little prick. Oh, Please, every shit. second we're in proximity makes it worse. I'm a primary conduit. You're a fucking disgrace. Yeah, it's spreading Come through out. people. Oh, no. Get up over Sam. us. Thinking you're so much better Sam, than the rest of us. No physical you contact. You stupid fucking missus. She's it. better than any of you. <laughs> oh shit. Sam. Sam. <laughs> Meg, please. Don't, don't come near me. Meg. Oh damn. Charlie. Meg, Meg, wait. Don't touch me. Meg, please, you have to understand. It was an accident. Get off her. Let go. Let's just go. Charlie. You have to understand, it was an accident. Oh, he just killed leave him. Sam. Leave him. What have you done, Appleton, you bastard? Come on, Charlie, let's Thanks, just get Charlie, out of here. Charlie, please. Shit. Man. Oh. As, as if things weren't rough enough with everyone getting in, in, infected with this... This pattern or whatever. I mean, to be fair, Sam was the one who started throwing fists, we could see there. You know, obviously, Stephen was just defending himself, but very stupidly. Oh, shit. Everything's just crumbling. Hmm. Alright, so where do we go from here? So we came through there, went through that truck stop with the cafe. I think we only need to go up here, right? The pattern isn't here, but I think we're on the right path. There's another house over here, so we can poke our head down this way just in case. Oh, geez. Oh, it looks like we might be able to go in here. Oh, definitely hear a phone. Okay. 
Okay, yep, yeah, we got a phone. Station Master's house, Howard Lantham speaking. Howard, it's Clive, Clive Smith. I need you to listen to me and not ask questions. Uh, I'm assuming this is him asking him to close all the railways. But why are you calling? The Emergency Measures Committee is imposing a quarantine. Yeah, the so this is the beginning of them walking the down the whole valley. We're suspending rail services and we're also going to be shutting down the roads for a bit. Uh, you're going to be dealing with some anxious people, Howard, so you need to explain it's all under control and we'll be back to normal in a few days. All right? Open up the emergency store. <laughs> yeah, a few days. Don't worry about it. Boards, along with a bunch of stuff that hasn't been used since the war. Grab anything you think might be useful. I need you to close up any unoccupied buildings. Gotcha. Okay, so he's all the all one who who sure nailed up all of the the buildings and put up the the weird quarantine signs. Everyone doing their bit, following their orders. All right. All right. I think. Good man. Oh, Howard. You did your best. It. That was the that was the pattern. Did it already get out? Uh, I don't know. It was pretty early there. Ooh, the the this looks like such a comfortable leather couch. You know, he's got his heater on. I mean, it's a fire hazard, but I don't think he's here to turn it off. Let's go upstairs just in case there's something up here as well. Oh, jeez. I mean, everyone tried to do their best. I guess we don't know if if uh, the if the pattern is even still here. We know, I guess, fragments of it are. Oh wow! Look at this. Oh, it's like a train model. Hold on, can we? We can turn it on. Oh my god, this is amazing. I mean, it makes sense that a, a train station master would be really into model trains as well. Oh, this is so cool. I mean, this this game is filled with so many loving details. Alright. Anything in here? Oh, he also was infested by the, the pattern. Apparently everyone was. I guess that's exactly why they had to uh, nerve gas the whole place. Horrifying, but uh, I guess there really was no alternative. You know, especially given the uh, community as it was, telling everyone that uh, we're we're going to ask you to, I guess, <laughs> sacrifice yourselves. Maybe wasn't going to be uh, flying as smoothly as uh, just telling them uh, there's a a, a flu-based quarantine. Yeah, these are the tunnels they blocked off. Yeah, we can't go up to there. Oh, a radio though. Repeating over and what do you over gotta say, Kate? Myself in the dark, eating cold food from a can with my fingers. My name is Catherine Collins. I am Catherine Collins. Uh, but are you entirely Catherine As if Collins? I can force the world to acknowledge my existence. Time has ceased to exist in any real terms. I'm reduced to marking up the days on the walls. Days. Woman. Yeah, I, I wonder if whatever this whatever this pattern, this entity is, it, it's not bound by our understanding of time and space. Alright, I guess let's follow the tracks of the station here. I saw it in the distance. 